Hello folks, so in this video I want to talk about this uh, very important layer that is your uh, transistor backplane or uh, more commonly just referred to as a uh, backplane. So shown here are three different uh, types of display that you will find in your uh, current uh, electronic uh, devices. One is this uh, standard LCD that you will find in your, uh, you know, your laptops uh, and uh, uh, your uh, monitors and this has you know a display a maximum resolution of you know less than uh, 200 uh, pixel per inch and then you have these uh, displays that you find in your smartphone so either they are uh, these high resolution LCD which have displays exceeding uh, 300 uh, pixel per inch and also these OLED display which have uh, the resolution nearing uh, around uh, 250 pixel per inch. So these display they uh, differ from each other. Some of these uh, LCD based uh, display they use uh, this uh, liquid uh, with their enabling module is this uh, liquid uh, crystal and they use these uh, color filter. Uh, in contrast to that, uh, the OLED displays are uh, much uh, more simpler. They use uh, these uh, light emitting diodes uh, and they are just encapsulated with this uh, cover glass which uh, protects them from moisture. Also, uh, they don't use uh, any backlight which you have to use if you have a liquid uh, crystal based uh, display. But one common layer that all of these uh, displays uh, use is this uh, thin uh, film transistor backplane. And this is essentially uh, the layer which consists of these uh, thin film transistors which uh, control each of these uh, individual pixels. So they are responsible for either applying these, uh, in the case of uh, uh, liquid uh, crystal display, applying the voltage which uh, turns uh, the individual pixel uh, on or off. Or in the, in the case of uh, uh, organic uh, light emitting diodes since these displays are based uh, are based on a diode which needs to be driven by a current the thin film transistor in this case is uh, responsible for providing this current which will drive your uh, light emitting diodes so so far the working hearts of the industry has been uh, amorphous silicon so most of these displays so far have uh, used uh, these amorphous uh, silicon as the thin film transistor uh, material and that carried the industry for a long time you know all the way from 1980s till uh, you know the later part of uh, to 2000 this was the only material uh, available for this was the material used for making these uh, thin film transistor for your uh, back plane but the problem with the uh, amorphous silicon is that since it's an amorphous material it does not have a very high mobility so the maximum electron mobility that you get uh, in amorphous silicon based display is around one or two centimeter uh, square per uh, volt second and this was fine when you know you had um, low resolution display play or you were not uh, uh, refreshing your display at a very high rate but the if you uh, put if you have this kind of uh, mobility the maximum resolution the maximum refresh rate that you can get with this mobility is uh, uh, around 240 or 250 hertz and uh, many of our uh, games that we use uh, play like quake or other games they have uh, a refresh rate of uh, you know approaching 150 hertz and uh, if you are especially uh, using a 3d television or a 3d display uh, the way this 3d display work is that it has two of these images and you uh, each of your eye has a different polarizer uh, placed uh, in the glass that you wear so it has to be refreshed as twice the uh, frequency so these freak the these uh, 3D TVs, they require even higher uh, refresh rate or twice the refresh rate of what you will uh, get in a normal HD TV. So clearly we see that uh, amorphous silicon is uh, running uh, out uh, of uh, steam. So what people have been exploring uh, in the lit, uh, what people have been actively deploying and exploring to deploy are these uh, 
newer uh, material that is uh, there are two candidates uh, which are uh, currently uh, under uh, you know both are under uh, implementation one is this low temperature uh, polysilicon also known as ltps the other one is this metal oxide based uh, thin film transistor before we delve into uh, each of these individual thin film transistors and the material inflections that are happening uh, in the material of this transistor let's understand more how does this backplane uh, look like so if you uh, look at this uh, backplane it consists uh, of these uh, orthogonal set of lines these uh, green lines over here are uh, scan lines and these perpendicular lines which are drawn in yellow are these uh, data lines a good analogy if you want to derive from uh, our uh, study on memories is that these are similar to these bit lines and word lines that you see on your uh, flash or your DRAM uh, array and uh, what they allow you to do is essentially you can uh, you can select using this uh, scan line which uh, particular row or column you want to address and then using this data line you can inject that data into that particular cell and at the intersection of these uh, scan line and data line is located this uh, control uh, circuitry so over here is located this uh, control circuitry and this consists of anywhere between one to six of these uh, thin flame transistors and it can consist of a few of these uh, capacitors as well so it consists of uh, you know few of these uh, transistors and a few of these uh, capacitors and uh, what they do is that uh, they take the input uh, from these uh, data line and uh, scan line and what they generate is uh, as an output is uh, either the voltage or the current and that uh, voltage or the current is applied from this uh, control uh, circuitry to either this uh, liquid uh, crystal or this uh, OLED which is uh, placed uh, over here. So an important thing then uh, in the backplane is this uh, term called as a fill factor and that refers to the percentage of the area which is occupied by this data lines and this uh, control circuitry. And that is important because uh, especially if you have a LCD based display so from beneath uh, this uh, display there would be light uh, coming in so there will be a backlight below and there will be light coming in from below and the amount of area which is occupied by this um, uh, thin flame transistor that will essentially block the light to pass through so the light will essentially be blocked in this much area so it's uh, that um, important term to minimize is the amount or the percentage of area which is occupied by this uh, control uh, circuitry. So as I mentioned this uh, control circuitry is consist of multiple uh, of these uh, thin flame transistor and capacitors and uh, there's a bifurcation in the requirement for this uh, control uh, circuitry uh, if you have a liquid uh, crystal uh, based uh, display then the important thing uh, that you need is you need to apply a voltage so for a liquid crystal uh, display the important uh, output parameter is the voltage for a OLED based display the important uh, output parameter is the current so that uh, that essentially leads in a bifurcation of how this uh, so circuitry looks for a liquid crystal based display so for a liquid crystal based display you will have this uh, data line and you have this uh, scan line and this is connected to this uh, thin flame transistors and uh, this thin flame transistor essentially depending upon uh, what is the data and if it's scan line turns this thin flame transistor on it uh, passes that voltage over here and this uh, charges up this uh, capacitor which maintains this uh, uh, potential on your uh, liquid uh, crystal similarly if you want to you know reduce this potential to zero you discharge this uh, capacitor and you have a uh, zero voltage on your uh, liquid uh, crystal uh, cell in comparison in a OLED uh, based uh, display you need to drive this uh, uh, light emitting diode with a current so the control circuitry for your OLED uh, based uh, display is uh, slightly different you have this extra power line 
and you have this extra transistor which is the drive uh, TFT so what this uh, data lines and this uh, scan line do is that if you turn on the scan line and you have a high voltage on this data line what they do is they store uh, charge uh, on or uh, they apply result in a potential on this uh, storage uh, capacitor which in turn that high voltage on this capacitor in turn turns on this uh, drive TFT and this can now uh, this uh, using this power line it can apply this current on this uh, OLED so this drive TFT for a OLED based display it needs to be you know uh, capable of uh, supplying a high enough uh, current and also you know maintaining a stable uh, uh, stable uh, current uh, at uh, low voltage uh, levels so these are you know the two different uh, requirements uh, that you see for uh, TFT uh, based uh, display